hi guys welcome back to another video and in this video i'm going to explain you the interview questions which are asked in cisco recent interview and these are all real interview questions so make sure you prepare for them well and uh, if i talk about like uh, there was part one as well and uh, i'm sure you wa you have watched that part and now i'm back with another part uh, which is which is like having more interview questions more on uh, uh, microservices side spring boot side this is the the level of the interview is uh, hard medium to hard i would say because many people still don't know uh, the concept of microservices and spring boot and there was there is some collection in, uh, questions as well there is some design pattern questions as well java question as well so if you are struggling with the interviews please note down all the questions and uh, practice them and it will help them to crack any interview i have a video recording as well uh, which i got from the candidate uh, so if you want to verify any of the question you can contact me in the link in the description below and if you have any general query as well you can contact me uh, for resume building or for any general query so i will talk about the question one by one so our question is can you explain the solid principle so this is this is all the uh, theoretical question we have solid about the uh, solid principle so as you know that uh, solid principle in solid principle s stands for single responsibility o stands for open and uh, close principle l stands for liskov substitution principle i for in interface segregation principle and d for dependency inversion principle so if i talk about uh, one by one uh, like a single line if i talk about like uh, for single responsibility principle it stretches uh, like it says that a class should have only one single reason to change in the case of open and close principle uh, like uh, a software entity a class or function or module should be open for extension but closed for the modification and the third one is liskov substitution principle so according to this principle derived or child classes must be substitute substitutable for their base or parent class and the next one is interface segregation principle which means uh, do not force any client to implement an interface which is irrelevant to uh, to them and the last one is dependency inversion that means uh, like uh, the high level module like classes should not depend on low level module classes both should depend upon abstractions abstraction should not be depend upon details and details should not depends upon abstraction this is the dependency inversion principle so these are the uh, five solid principle which you need to like understand and tell in your next interview the next question we have is uh, can you tell me the memory area areas present in memory so i have mentioned this question in one of my previous videos as well if i talk about memory areas in jvm there are two major areas in uh, jvm in memory areas in jvm one is stack memory and other one is heap memory and uh, like heap memory is something uh, where all the objects are stored and stack memory is something where all the primitive values are stored and the uh, references as well object references as well so if you if i talk about heap memory it is further divided into eden space and first generation space large generation space and some other spaces as well okay so there is a very detailed videos available on this uh, like topic uh, i am explaining you in very short term so you need to understand read about this question because this is also a very important question in interviews these days so make sure you like read about it and tell the correct answer in any of the interview i can like uh, give you an hint in this video only so uh, like if i talk about next question next question is i will read it out let's say in production you got error sign that check memory out of error now how will you troubleshoot this problem what steps you will take so uh, to answer this question first you need to understand that when exactly you will get the out of memory error all right so out out of memory error usually this error is thrown when there is insufficient space to allocate an object in the java heap in the case in this case the garbage collector cannot make space available to accommodate a new object and the heap cannot be expanded further 
so in that case you will get this out of memory error and to fix this error the easy way to solve out of memory error in java is to increase the maximum heap size by using jvm option so there is jvm option i will read it uh, write it out here which is x m x 512 m this is the memory size we are giving so this is the memory uh, jvm options which are available which uh, this will immediately solve the out of memory error okay so uh, like you have to answer like this okay let's move on to next question i will read it out first then we will uh, talk about it i will give you another because this this question i got as it is from the candidate uh, so this is the in this actual language the interviewer asked this question so let me just read it out i will give you another hand uh, hint i think it is hint let's say i have a recursive program it has 20 level of iteration so where are those iteration stored because when the method returns back to back it should know what's the content context the last time method executed right so where is the data stored in jvm it is talking about recursion program and in recursion program uh, it can be any number of iterations uh, in this case 20 level of iterations are there so where exactly these iteration uh, is stored in jvm okay so there is a memory space called method stack in inside the jvm so that will store the method stack which method to call next so i think that will be answer for this so so uh, these iteration will be stored inside the method stack area all right so if you have any better answer for this question you can comment down below all right and uh, if i talk before uh, going to the next question i just want to quickly uh, tell you that i have a hindi channel as well where i talk about java career and a lot of other things so you if you understand hindi you consider subscribing that as well and apart from that there is a platinum membership is open so if you want to see more of this type of content and uh, many other videos as well uh, you can become part of platinum member and trust me like you won't regret the platinum membership because i am i am sharing many interview questions and videos out there as well which are very hard and if you practice those at least two videos if you practice only two videos you will see that your interviews are clear uh, clearing so uh, make sure you get the platinum uh, platinum membership as well uh, that uh, membership cost is very less compared to what you get because if you practice those questions you will clear any interview and you can get 50 100 150 percent of hike all right so this is very less compared to that uh, and now let's move to the next question i will just select it out and then we will talk about it uh, let's say my application spring boot application is calling some of the other spring boot services in a sync way so where does this configuration set as to how many services call i can make how will you tweak the number so you are calling other services from your microservice your spring boot microservice in a sync way so before uh, like understanding anything uh, like I will tell you that uh, what is async way, async way to call microservice. So uh, there are two ways uh, to call microservices. Okay. One is asynchronous way and other one is asynchronous way. All right. So if I talk about synchronous way, that is rest template because in synchronous way, the communication happens in real time and in async way the communication happens independent of time and hybrid like it supports uh, supports com communication in real time and it is uh, so it supports independent of time communication as well so uh, the example of uh, async way async communications are kafka rabbit mq is there any message broker technology is there which is example of async communication and for the synchronous communication we have http communication which is rest template rest template is an example of uh, synchronous way and we are using uh, rest communication for that all right so these are the two different uh, uh, examples of uh, communication between microservices and in this question you need to tell that where does this configuration set like uh, 
uh, how many micro services you want to call the configuration so you set these number in the configuration files you create in your microservice so whatever config and apart from that there are various other method models as well while communicating with the microservices like uh, orchestration model and uh, some other model is the also there which uh, you will you guys will comment in the comment section what is the other model i have shared in one of my videos as well so uh, that number will be shared accordingly and uh, now let's move to the next question i will select the next question then we will talk about it the next question we have is my spring boot application i will read uh, my spring boot application is calling many other application in a sync manner now there is a limit how many times i can call those services for specified set of request coming so where you will put that configuration to control that so this is the subsequent question for earlier ask question which is explaining the earlier ask question in a better way in a better way that where you will you will keep that configuration okay so uh, like in your in your project you need to see that where exactly you are uh, keeping that configuration uh, or otherwise you can search on the google as well about the sync way and async way uh, configuration of microservices then you will get a better idea the another subsequent question for this is here let's say i will be able to only execute 20 calls at a time so where will you configure that do you know so it is again asking about the configuration of calls of uh, microservices between the call between the microservices so uh, that is the thing so uh, you need to prepare for this question and let's move to the next question which is uh, uh this one have you ever been configuring the third pool uh, thread pool i think it is talking about thread pool executor in your application so what is thread pool executor in general thread pool executor or thread pool in general is a pool of threads right it's a pool of thread where multiple threads uh, you can create multiple threads and uh, you can execute multiple threads and uh, like uh, uh, there are multiple thread pools available in java so when you talk about thread pools uh, thread pools in in the thread pools multiple threads are created and uh, they can execute the current task uh, they offer the current task solution in a parallel way so like the speed of the execution will be fast so there are two ways like uh, java provide the executor framework which is centered around the executor interface or executor service and the class is thread pool executor so it is talking about thread pool executor class in the executor framework okay so you need to configure that class and that that class has some method like new fix thread pools new cache thread pool new single thread pool executor so these by these method you can mention the uh, like number of threads number of cache thread now how create a fixed size thread pool create a uh, thread pool which which is like uh, uh, the number of threads is variable i mean it will create threads on its own and destroy them as well according to the need all right so this is the thing which you mentioned while while talking about the thread pool executor okay so uh, that is the our this, uh, like uh, now we will go to the next question which is uh, write a program to print this star so i'm sure you will find many tutorial on this on the internet and if i explain this uh, in this interview like in this uh, uh, session uh, this will be a long video so uh, just find out the answer for this otherwise i will comment in uh, like i will uh, comment in the comment section and pin it out so if if you guys are not able to find out the solution for this i will try to find it and share it with you also okay and make sure there is a space as well between these stars okay so uh, like these stars uh, usually created by first of all you you just try with the brute force approach what is the brute brute force approach by using the loops okay by using multiple loops and uh, like uh, 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 try try with every scenario loops inside loop don't think about uh, time complexity and space compl uh, complexity at this point just try with the brute force approach and then uh, you can think about the more op optimized way to solve this problem because there will be a more optimized way always for this uh, problem for the solution of this problem so i hope that you like this video this video will be very helpful for you 
and if you need any other help like resume building or any general query uh, like you can write me out and you can reach me out and uh, subscribe to my other channel as well subscribe to this channel as well and uh, uh, join the platinum membership for your own benefit i will see you in the next video in my upcoming video uh, thank you so much for your time and to watch this video and i'm sure like you are writing everything and you are reading everything okay and uh, thank you yeah bye bye